look at this little mini wooden sleigh hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new here hello my name is chess happy sunday everyone if you're watching this on a sunday it's currently sunday morning for us i'm feeling very autumnal i'm in a cozy like oversized jumper new bag leather leggings and uggs i literally am living in my uggs at the minute and I just posted this on my story last night, so this will be like a week later when I'm telling you this, but currently all the mini, ultra mini Uggs in chestnut are in stock randomly and they've been out of stock for weeks. So if you do want to grab the ultra minis in chestnut, check the Ugg website now as there might still be some in stock and I'm literally living in them. They're so, so comfy. So Jake and I are just about to go out for breakfast. We thought that we'd just treat ourselves Sunday morning treat and go out for breakfast. We're going to our local garden centre and of course I'll show you the decor inside there as well. And then I also need a trip to b and I need to get some like cleaning things and laundry things, you know when everything just starts to run out so I need to stock up of all those things and I will take you there with us as well and film anything worth filming and then we'll just see where else this vlog takes us. So I'm in beige and black and Jake is also in beige and black twinning. It's seriously not autumn vibes though is it? No. It's literally 17 degrees but we're dressing for autumn. So we're just in the car and it literally says 18 degrees I think this today is literally nicer than 90% of the summer. <laughs> it's going to be a heat wave this weekend. We don't want a heat wave. I definitely don't want a heat wave. It's sunny and it's hot, but it, I feel like there's a, an autumn chill in the air. <laughs> oh, stop that. You know I've got arachnophobia. I <laughs> know, oh, I saw that last time. <laughs> oh, we could have got those. These are looking Christmassy. They've always got cute little knickknacks here. These little bowls are sweet, cute and rustic. And this candle holder. That'll be yours next year. <laughs> Love these gingham coasters. I've actually got these. I got them from Wibble of Abigail. So cute. Is this William Morris? A William Morris jigsaw? Is it? Yeah, it is. It's William Morris. A William Morris jigsaw puzzle. You have a jigsaw? <laughs> no, I don't really like jigsaws. <laughs> they kind of frustrate me. I love all this section, all the awesome colours. Look how cute these pumpkins are. Little pack, £10. And then look at these napkins too. It's Christmas! <gasps> look at everything. Look at those. I was literally just looking at White Company last night. And that is literally what they're selling on the white company. I might. Oh, is it? I can't get Christmas stuff yet. No, you can't. Oh, but look at this. This is literally exactly what they're selling on the white company. Stars with like a little bit of foliage. Oh, stop. I can't buy Christmas yet, but this is like so tempting. Look at these berries. Still got all the autumn stuff as well. I just think that is so cute, like on a little peg shelf. This garden centre at Christmas is just always my favourite. I'll, I'll do like a proper Christmas vlog here when we get closer to Christmas. Look at all the neat natural stuff. It looks so cute. Ah, oh, look at that. That is adorable. I think I actually need, oh my goodness, they've got a mushroom as well. I need these for the tree because my tree's like white. But I do want to bring a little bit of champagne in this year. They are adorable. But look at look at the price. Seven pound fifty for one ornament. That's like a bit expensive, isn't it? These are pretty. They're cute. All the gingerbread stuff. I don't know why. It just makes me feel like so cozy and Christmassy and like nostalgic. Even though like gingerbread isn't really my theme when I when I like decorate for Christmas, it just makes me feel like, like proper I know, it just makes it. me feel like super cozy. But yeah, I'm gonna stop showing you Christmas stuff now guys, because I feel like it is still super early. So I will come back here and do a proper Christmas vlog, pick up some Christmas stuff when it's closer to the time. <laughs> So we're just at breakfast now, I've gone for full English, Jake couldn't get it because he didn't have a gluten-free full English, so what have you gone for? A bacon bully. <laughs> and gluten-free bread. I've got an apple juice, yum yum. So we're at B&M now, need to stock up on all things cleaning, 
I'm gonna try and resist decor bits, but we'll see if I'm able to. So this is the new scent that I've seen on, I think it was Gemma Louise Miles' YouTube. Love her YouTube, it's always so cozy. And I saw that it was vanilla and amber, which are like two of my favorite scents. So shall we give it a spray? See if I like In it. Shop. Yeah. Mmm. It does smell nice, actually. <laughs> But I'm going to see if they've got the bottle version because I, make, I put it in my amber glass bottle. So we'll go to the Zephora section and see if they've got like the actual bottles. We've still got a little bit of October left. So I'm going to get pumpkin scrub daddy. How cute is that? Why are they sad? I don't like the sad one. Sad daddy. Weird. I don't like those ones. I've also got the Christmas gingerbread ones, but it's too early for Christmas just yet. So I will be back to get the Christmas ones. So I think I'm just going to pop a normal one in the basket. So we've just seen these. It's like, it's, it's by Minky. It's an everyday cleaning bundle. Look how much stuff you get in there. You get two the flower Minky sponges, an actual Minky sponge there, two of those little scratchy sponges, and then some cloths, all for $4.99. That's pretty good, that isn't it? You could get heart ones as well. That's quite good, isn't it? So I'm just by the flora bottles now, like the concentrated ones. And I don't think they've got the new one. I think I'm gonna have to buy the spray instead. I can't see the amber and vanilla one here. Oh, winter spice. But I'm not gonna get it yet. I'm not gonna get too excited. Yeah, I think we're going to have to get the actual spray. These scent boosters are the best scent. Gold orchid. They've got some really cute autumnal garlands and wreaths. And I've just spotted a candle. Which is super cute. A few more autumnal bits that I definitely don't need. This is special acorn that Jake got me all those weeks ago. I really do like these. Cute little acorn candles, but I just really don't need any. So I'm just going to... Resist. We've got a few Christmassy bits as well. Oh, look at that. It's like a little tea bag holder. That's quite cute for autumn, isn't it? These big wreaths. I feel like they could have just looked way more realistic if they were like the proper you dried ones. Off, yeah, though. you could cut them off. Love this candle. Kind of like a scalloped edge. They have all the leaf patterns around the edge. I like that. Look at that. That is so random. So they've still got this scalloped range and I know there's so many people who were looking for it and it was sold out in all their B&Ms but they've still got it at this one in Preston. Cute little gingham tea towel. This is dead cute. But I just don't know what I would use it for. But it is dead cute, isn't it? Maybe like bathroom styling or something. I don't know. I don't need it. Put it back, Jess. <laughs> Christmas is in B&M as well. I can't believe how early it's coming out every year. I mean, I know I was showing you autumn stuff early, but it was like the month before autumn, I guess. But it's literally not even close to Christmas yet. But I am, I am a little bit excited about it. It's all quite like traditional reds. That's cute. Little gingerbread house. Hopefully they bring out some more like neutral Christmassy bits nearer the time. Star placemat, six pound for two, not too bad. Yeah, they're quite cute. It's like a Christmas party. Oh wait, I spoke too soon. I think this is all like the neutral Christmas stuff. I really like those. <gasps> they're really cute. Even doing like little sleighs like this, people always go mad for these. Like from small businesses and stuff. So if they're doing little sleighs here, how much is that? They're cute, but I really like these ones. Oh, are they? Oh, they're light up as well. They got batteries in. Oh, how cute. I love those. I think I actually might have to get them just in case. I love these bells as well. Maybe I'd change the ribbon out. Those bells are really cute. These are white company dupes. Although I've got the white company ones, so I don't need these ones. But if you are looking for that white company vibe, you can get these. Jake literally spots everything. How do you do it? I've got good eyes. <laughs> you have got good eyes. <laughs> these are also little white company dupes as well. White company do these like feather rings like this. 
we had these last year too. Hey guys, it's a few days later now and I'm just on my way out to a cake shop. Going to Cake by Hannah Jones, which is like a local cake shop near us and they sell the most amazing cakes, treats, brownies, little snacks, everything. And it's all like autumn vibes today. So I thought I'd take you along with us being still in the autumn cozy period. And I also need to get some bits for my sister because it's her birthday soon. And she is obsessed with Cake by Hannah Jones as well and is obsessed with the carrot cake. So I'm gonna go and get her some carrot cake for her birthday and then probably pick up some stuff for me and Jake as well, even though I have actually been really good lately. Like anyone that knows me knows that I am a sweet tooth. Like I love treats, chocolate, sweets, give me all the sweet stuff. Chocolate is my downfall, like I literally love chocolate, but I've been really good lately. I've not been snacking. I've not been eating loads at work. Normally I'm like eating all the biscuits at work, but I think it's because in the back of my mind, I know I've got to get into a wedding dress in April and in fact my fitting like my first fitting will be soon in a couple of months so I think in the back of my mind I'm thinking wedding 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 don't eat treats <laughs> but today's a little treat a one-off I'm gonna go and get some treats from Cake by Hannah Jones and I will take you guys along with me also I know I've not shown you what I got from B&M yet I know it was kind of like a B&M shop like day out with Jake and then it just switched to this but this vlog is going to be a bit here there and everywhere but like from the comments that you guys put on my videos you kind of like this style of vlog anyway like me doing different bits of things and I don't know I always feel like is it boring like do you want to see what I'm doing like day to day I don't know but you guys seem to like it so I will show you what I got from B&M I got some like laundry bits some really good bargains actually and some Christmas bits but I feel like it's too early to show Christmas yet like it's not even Halloween but like I was excited to see the Christmas stuff and I feel like if I don't show the bits they might sell out I don't know should I show Christmas I don't know it will be in this vlog anyway if I decide to but if I don't decide to let me know when is it acceptable to show Christmas stuff I want to say like November 1st of November it's basically Christmas isn't it <laughs> So I'm back from the cake shop. I'll show you what I got in a second. I'm just in my slippers. Got out of my Uggs and into my Ugg slippers. These slippers, by the way, excuse the combo, slippers, socks and leggings. That is not fashion really, is it? But I'm so cosy and honestly I've never been a slippers girl until getting these slippers for my birthday because they just keep your feet so warm and they're so snuggly and cozy and cute and fluffy. I love those. But yeah, let me show you what I got from the cake shop. So this is the box that it comes in. I think I've shown them on Instagram and YouTube before and they're actually making our wedding cake, which is super exciting and also like our wedding treats and stuff and all things, all things sweet and edible to do with the wedding cake by Hannah Jones is making, which I'm super excited about. But yeah, the boxes are adorable and then this is what I got for Annie, my sister, two carrot cakes and also a pumpkin sugar cookie because it is like Halloween vibes at the minute. I won't get it out but there we go. So I'll give that to Danny tomorrow for her birthday as well as her other little bits that I've got her. And then for Jake and I, I've gone with another pumpkin cookie because how cute is that? And then a s'mores cupcake. Look at this. Chocolate cake which I love I just love chocolate cake I'm I'm like so tempted to have a chocolate wedding cake obviously with like white decoration on the outside I don't want anything like big and crazy by the way I want one of those like cute vintagey wedding cakes but I'm so tempted to get chocolate especially from cake by Hannah Jones because her chocolate cake is super good and then look at that marshmallow on the top so delicious and I'm guessing there's like chocolate and cream and all sorts so me and Jake will half that later and we're having our brews and then I also got this brownie which has got like waffle like caramel and pretzel in which just looks absolutely delicious so we will be fully stocked up with our treats for tonight for the for the next few days and then I have to go back to being good because I've got a wedding dress to get into. Good morning everybody it's a few days later since I last picked up the camera and also I think a whole week later since I last went to B&M so this vlog is like really spaced out for me but I guess all in the all in the same video for you. So I'm gonna sit down now and show you what I got from B&M. I didn't get like loads and loads, but I got a few like cleaning bits, Christmassy bits, which is a bit exciting. And I've also got some other packages as well to show you in today's video. And 
let me show you what I found in the co-op. So excuse my deliveries, but look what I got in the co-op. How cute are these? Little white pumpkins, they're called ghost pumpkins, which I just think is the most adorable name ever. And me being a neutrals girl, I was on the hunt for some white pumpkins. I do like orange pumpkins as well. These are for like outside my front door, by the way. So I'm gonna pop them out there now. Someone commented on my other video saying that real pumpkins would look nice. And I was like, yes, they would look nice. I'm gonna go and get some real pumpkins. How cute are they? Look at this one, a little tiny baby one. So I'm gonna pop those outside the front door now. And I'm gonna mix some like fake pumpkins with them as well. And we'll see how it looks. Wow, it is very cold today. Jake left for work this morning, so it's a Sunday, so it's Jake's Sunday in work today. And he texts me when I woke up, I saw his text saying that he had to defrost his car this morning, which just fills me with dread because there's nothing worse. Like, I love autumn and winter, but there's nothing worse than defrosting your car in the morning, is there? But I've moved the pumpkins to out here, and I feel like I need some more ghost pumpkins at this side, just to, like, even out the white vibes. So I've taken in the ceramic ones because I just felt like it didn't really match the vibe anymore. I've just got these wicker ones from the table stylist and then mixed with the white ghost ones. I just think it looks dead cute. And who knows, I might even get some orange ones as well because it is nearly Halloween. Goodness me, it is really cold out there, which I'm kind of excited about because I do love the cold. I love a crisp cold day. I love wrapping up. Got my earmuffs now that I can pop on. I've got a new teddy coat. I'm not showing you my new teddy coat actually from ASAR, so I'll, I'll try and remember and show you in this video. I don't mind the cold, but then I complain that it's cold. That's just, I feel like that's just like people in Britain, isn't it? Like we complain when it's too cold and then we want the heat and then when the heat comes, we complain it's too hot. Okay, so I have two very big bags of B&M goodies and even some on the floor as well. And then I've got some other packages here. So who's ready for a big B&M haul, small business haul, home decor haul? I'm ready, hope you're ready, hope you've got a nice hot drink with you, cozying up on the couch or on your phone or wherever you're watching this and I hope you enjoy watching the rest of the haul and I don't know why I keep clapping, maybe I'm just excited. <laughs> so I'm just going to dip in to the, to the B&M bags and see what I come out with. This. So if you don't like cleaning stuff, there's not that much cleaning stuff so don't worry but I, w I needed some new minkies and some new cloths and stuff and so I, I popped a few in my basket and then I saw this. So they were selling all this for $5.99. And what you got in it was two of these. So I've been using it already, I've just brought it from the kitchen. So you get two of these, which I thought were quite autumnal, kind of reminding me of like a little autumn flower. So I thought they were dead cute. And then you also get some like scratchy sponges and an actual minky, a lovely lilac minky, which is so cute. And you also get three of these little scouring pads. And you also get how many of these? Two of these little soak up cloths with orange flowers on as well. So it's very autumn vibes. And you get all that for $5.99. Is it something else? Oh wait, no. No, that's it. But that's pretty good for $5.99, isn't it? Because sometimes minkies can be like two pound. So I thought all of that for a fiver was quite good. And then I also got a little pumpkin scrub daddy for the rest of the halloween -y season. How cute is that? Adorable. I got some of this, the Gold Orchid Lenore Fabric Conditioner, but it says Indulge Wellbeing Collection, and it looks a slightly different colour to the one I normally get, and it smells slightly different as well, slightly stronger actually, so I don't know if it's like, it says with a touch of essential oils, I don't know if it's like a stronger version of the Gold Orchid, or if it's just a new version, I don't know, but this smells insane, I love it so much. And I also got the scent boosters to match, I love popping these in with the washing, it makes it smell so nice. Gold Orchid, it just smells so nice and fresh and clean and sweet. If you've not tried Gold Orchid, you're missing out. Also got some bold laundry tablets as well, I pop these in, I literally pop so much in there washing machine when I'm doing the wash. I don't know if that's right or wrong, but I just like the clothes smelling nice. Picked up some tea bags because it's just a must when you're at B&M or like home bargains or like a cheap shop like that because they're just so much cheaper, aren't they? I don't know why we don't do it more often, but you get 210 tea bags here. I can't remember how much they were, maybe like a fiver. So pretty good for all those tea bags and Yorkshire tea is the best and no one can tell me otherwise. And then I also saw these, so they're like little Halloween decorations. It would help if I turn it the right way around. Like little, you know, like, like little sweeties, what are they called? Edible sugar decorations, like hard 
sweetie decoration things all in like Halloween style like pumpkins and ghosts and like googly eyes and stuff and I thought just go back into focus I thought that I could make you know one of those like chocolate barks things like chocolate like melted chocolate bars and then you pop things like this on whilst it's still melted and then you pop it in the fridge and then it comes out and it's all hardened <laughs> doing a really bad job of explaining this but basically I want to make something like that before Halloween so I can use these so I thought that would be quite cute and really yummy as well because who doesn't like chocolate and spooky chocolate when it gets to Halloween time the rest of the stuff that I have to show you from B&M are Christmas related and I know that it's early I know that it's not even been Halloween yet but it's in the store it was screaming my name I had to go to the aisle and these will sell out. They will. They'll sell out because they're white company dupes, they're Neptune dupes. They're like that sort of vibe for such an affordable price. So they will sell out. I had to get them. I didn't want to miss out. I don't like getting FOMO when it comes to home decor stuff. So I'm going to show you them now. Obviously I'm not going to style them now because we're still in autumn but just in case you wanted to head down to B&M and grab them yourself that's why I'm showing you them. So let me start with an absolute bargain that is five pounds and everyone goes mad for these every year like from other shops I've never seen them at B&M though. Look at this little mini wooden sleigh. Everyone loves a sleigh over on Instagram you know like styled at the bottom of your tree or on the bottom of a console table pop some little like Christmas decor bits on there there's so many cute styling ideas that you can do with a sleigh and this is gorgeous and wooden and rustic and it lights up and it's five pound it's a wooden light up sleigh which is a good size as well and it lights up for five pounds you all need to go to B&M ASAP. Like how cute is that? Obviously like there's a little button that I'm pressing here to like light up but it's got space for batteries there so you just pop the batteries in and then it, I guess it will just light up all the time when you pop the switch on. Can't wait to have it styled in my living room when it's Christmas time or in the hallway or on like a bench would look gorgeous as well. Like there's so many uses for a sleigh like this. And it's so cheap. I love it. Next we have an all time Neptune and White Company dupe. The ceramic house, they make a return every year don't they? Everyone goes mad for ceramic houses every year and these are light up as well. Oh, is it gonna... Oh. Ah, there we go. <laughs> you have to pull the little thing out. So it comes with a battery as well which is so good because you don't have to go around finding batteries for them. So yeah, they're light up, they're adorable. You could either have them hanging on the tree or you can chop the duke string off and have them you know like styled as a christmas village like on a console table or on a windowsill which is what i like to do every year they were three pound each which is such a steal i'm going to turn it off because i don't want it to run out before the christmas period but they're just adorable they've got the little windows and a little star at the top very on trend for what like the big brands are sucking at the minute so yeah an affordable little dupe there from b&m don't miss out super super cute and these will disappear these will disappear probably before like middle of november i would say because they're just so adorable. So head to B&M and get your hands on those as well. Sticking with a little ceramic house theme, I've also got these ones. And these ones obviously aren't light up and they're more like decorations for the tree rather than popping them in like a Christmas village. But they're adorable. They're all different shapes and sizes. Remind me so much of the Neptune ones that I picked up last year. I love the little gold windows. I'll try and find pictures of the dupe. Like I'll try and find pictures of the ones on the Neptune and White Company website to pop on the screen whilst I'm talking about these so you can see how similar they are. And you get four for four pounds, so that's one pound per house. One pound each for those gorgeous decorations and I think they'll just match with my decor that I have on my tree because I'm normally like a white kind of person on the tree. Although this year I would like to bring a little bit of champagne in. I have ordered some White Company bits, that will be coming soon. So yeah, I might be adding a little bit more different colours to the tree this year. But these will still go perfectly because white just goes with everything. So now I've got a total of six new ceramic houses just for this year and I think I got loads last year as well. So I'm going to be like inundated with ceramic houses. But they are just such a cute decoration, aren't they? Lastly, another little dupe here are these white ceramic bells. Aren't they just gorgeous? Like, tingling a ling Sorry if that's like deafening everybody over on YouTube. But you would look at that hung on a tree and you wouldn't think 
that's from B&M. Like you just wouldn't, it doesn't look like an affordable home bargain shop. Do you know what I mean? It looks so high end. You could switch the ribbon out if you want to, to make it match your tree a little bit more. I might switch my ribbon out for more of like a darker ribbon or like a champagne colored ribbon or a jute string or something. But this, the bells, they're just so pretty. Let me give you a close up. You can see they've got this rib detail all around the side and then I love how they just like flute out at the bottom and then they've got the little ding dong bell inside. But I think they look so high end, so premium. I'm gonna look gorgeous on my tree. I also thought you could have them at the, like the bottom of a garland, you know, like a stairs garland. I thought that would look super cute as well. You just have to be careful that they don't fall down and smash everywhere. But yeah, adorable. And these were £3 each as well. So another steal there and another amazing dupe. So that was everything from B&M. Like I said at the beginning, I didn't go crazy Christmas. That is coming, by the way. Like, I feel like I could go wild in these home bargain shops this year. Like, they just bring out such good deco and it gets better every year. And there was so much more that I loved in B&M. And I'm sure they'll bring out so much more as well because we are only in the middle of October. So I'm guessing there's more to come. So... Yeah, that video will be coming. I didn't go crazy today, but I did I did have to get those ceramic pieces because I know that they'll be so popular. So if you don't want to miss out, head down to B&M and get your hands on them as well. So I'm going to finish with some small business packages. And I've received this one with this gorgeous like spotty tape. And I've, I actually don't know who it's from. It doesn't have a label on it or anything. So this will be a nice surprise for me and for you guys as well. So let's open it and see what it is and who it's from. Oh, this is lovely. From Beatrice and Lily, who I've worked with in the past. This is such a surprise. She said, Chess, hope you don't mind. I would like to gift you one of our new style advent calendar wax melts for 2023. You will find 25 different scents, including our winter and Christmas collection and other seasonal and bestseller scents from throughout the year. A great way to count down to Christmas if your followers are interested in purchasing one. We'd love to give you an exclusive discount code for 10% off. You can use the code ADVENT10 and it's valid until the 12th of November. <gasps> Oops, dropping it. What a surprise. A little mini wax melt advent calendar. That is so cute. Let me open it up. Sorry, this video has kind of turned into a Christmas video, hasn't it? This was not the intention. Look at this. So this is from Beatrice and Lily. Adorable advent bag. What does it say? Merry Christmas and it says Beatrice and Lily down there and then it's got all the advent numbers around the side. So what do you do? Do you have to like, oh my goodness, every wax, every melt in here has a number on. The scent, the fragrance that is coming from this bag is like so nice. Oh, so you like open it up every day a whole 24 days like some advent calendars are just like from the 12th to the 24th aren't they like 12 days is that 12 days no yeah it is 12 days <laughs> i'm a teacher i should know that that is such a lovely idea this one's gingerbread oh <gasps> that smells amazing well that is going to be such a treat for me isn't it on the 1st of december what a lovely treat and a lovely surprise for Beatrice and Lily. Thank you so much, guys. That is, that's honestly made my day. What a lovely surprise. So yeah, like it mentioned in the notes, if you did want to treat you or a loved one to an advent calendar, you can use the code ADVENT10. I'll pop it on the screen now and that can save you 10%. So now I have a big box from one of my favorite businesses, Just So Interiors. And I actually know what's inside here and you are not ready to see what's inside. Oh, it is so me, so my vibe. I can't wait to show you. Let me get them unboxed. So Rebecca from Just So Interiors has very kindly sent me some plant parts, like some indoor like decorative parts. And these could be the nicest parts in the entire world. Like I know that is a very big statement, but just you wait, just you wait. Oh my goodness are you seeing this it's a white scallop pot <gasps> just do i need to say anything else it's a white scallop ceramic gorgeous beautiful amazing pot how stunning is that oh it's just beautiful let me get the other one out with the other one is a bigger one and they come with little sauces as well. Here's the other one. How stunning is that? And it's quite a big size, as you can see. Like, 
next to my big head it is quite a big size so I, I even just had an idea in my head the olive tree upstairs like the mini olive tree I used to have it down here but I've moved it up to the spare bedroom I feel like the olive tree would look gorgeous in there because it's a really mini one and I feel like it would fit I'll take you upstairs afterwards and we can have a see and then this one is like a smaller version so this one would look gorgeous on like a windowsill or a shelf or like the bottom of a console or on a tray with a little cute plant inside imagine like a cute little Christmassy plant in this when it gets to Christmas summer plant when it gets to summer awesome plant right now I need to find an awesome plant and pop it in it's just the just the prettiest white ceramic scalloped pots that I've ever seen look at the little detail around the side they're beautiful let me get the saucers out to show you those as well because I feel like when pots come with a sauce it just makes I don't know it's just like a little bit of added extra lovely detail and I feel like it makes it look way more like cottage core farmhouse kind of vibe so this is the sauce it's got little feet at the bottom as well so you can have it on your surfaces and it won't scratch and there you go how cute I love them so much big thank you to Rebecca for kindly sending those over to me and then you've got the big saucer here as well Oof. I thought that was a spider then, and nearly got freaked out. It was just this. Got such a bad phobia of spiders. Here's what the big one looks like. This would look gorgeous outside as well, wouldn't it? You know, matched with all like my white flowers that I love to have in my garden, but I'd just be so scared of it like breaking or getting dirty because it's just like too pussy, isn't it? But you could have it outside. It, ooh, see what I mean? I'm so clumsy. They do have drainage holes like that so you could put real plants in them too. Uh, didn't I tell you the most perfect pots in the entire world were in that box and am I right? Yes, I am right. So gorgeous. So if you want to treat yourself to those or anything else from Just So Interior's website, you can use my code FLORALLY15. So it's a 15% off one. I'll pop it on the screen now. I'll pop the link in the description box below and that can save you 15% off everything at Just So Interior's. So like I said before, I'm going to try this scallop pot in well the olive tree in the scallop pot I'm going to see how it looks excuse the, the pile of cloves on the bed this is just summer stuff that I still need to pop away but and then yeah cushions that I need to pop away didn't show that on the on the reel did I <laughs> pop the camera there for a second so that's how it looks I feel like I definitely need some like hessian or like some jutes like like material or something for the top just so it like blends in and you can't see the other part but I do quite like how that looks nice and neutral and like matches all like the whites in here as well so I just need to find some little material for the top and I think that will look really cute and then I thought the smaller one would be gorgeous here in the utility room with like a plant coming out or just on its own looks really nice as well and I saw it at my mum's house my mum actually had like a little bowl or pot and she filled it up with pine cones for the autumn season so I thought that would, that could be quite nice for like autumn and even November time like leading into Christmas just like some pine cones or like some frosted pine cones would look really nice styled in the pot so yeah I love it I'm literally obsessed with it it's so pretty and so me I just, I'm in love. So I'm going to end the video there, everyone. I really hope you enjoyed today's garden centre trip and B&M trip and seeing all of the gorgeous bargains that I picked up today. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. As always, it always makes for a day when you leave lovely comments. And hopefully within the next couple of weeks, we'll be having some more Christmas content. I, I'm sorry that there was Christmas content today. Well, I'm not sorry because I was the one that decided to pop it into this video, but we just need to get ready. Christmas is coming, whether we like it or not. As soon as November hits, the Christmas videos will be coming because that's when I start to feel Christmassy and I'll be popping my tree up mid-November and I have a really exciting collaboration to show you all in November to do with Christmas trees. I'm just so excited for it. So all the Christmas content will be coming. So if you like all the cozy home decor content, then make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss any more of my videos. And I will see you very soon with a brand new video next week. Bye.